We've all met someone who is a rebel at heart, always staring in the face of authority and never backing down. And a police officer in Alabama learned the hard way that some farm animals apparently idolize NWA. Casey Thrower was returning to his car after delivering some papers and was welcomed by a couple of guests. Two goats had made themselves at home. One was in the car munching away, the other was on top of the patrol car. I guess one could say they were bad to the bone. I'm sorry about that one. You know, everybody often looks for a good deal while they're out shopping, and a real estate listing in California is coming with a stipulation that you can't find anywhere else. For 285,000 bucks, you can purchase two cats and they'll even throw in a house on top of it. The home belonged to a woman who recently passed away and donated her home to the local feline center. The organization is now hoping that folks who want to live in the home will take in the cats as well. So hey, two cats, one house, and a total of 18 lives, not a bad deal at all. Later tonight, Jeff Weller and I, along with members of Newswatch 12, will be playing in a game of snowshoe baseball. And as you will see later in the show, I won't be selling any baseball cards myself anytime soon. Now, Mickey Mantle, a monumental figure in the baseball world, is shattering records even decades after his death. A card of the mix sold at auction for $12.6 million, a record for the highest value of any sports collectible ever. And while Mantle was a legendary player, you have to wonder, did he also dunk his donuts? Yesterday, the state of Hawaii celebrated a world championship in Little League Baseball, but the win did come with a price. One pitch happened to get away from the team's starting pitcher, and it found the business end of the behind-the-plate camera. If I was pitching in snowshoe baseball, I would probably expect a similar outcome. 